I woke up like this. Flawless. <sighs> Do you ever feel like you're kind of falling into a funk? Not funk like the popular music genre, but funk like in the past 10 days, you've dropped your phone in the toilet, you lost your Kindle, you still haven't gotten a job, your friends are dying, the world is passing you by, you hate your roommate, you feel like all you have in life is a video blog that you run yourself and you don't get paid for. But seriously though, thanks for watching. Here's how I like to pull myself out of those funks. At the end of every day deemed non-productive, make yourself a list. I call these motivational to-do lists. The motivational to-do list is actually less of a to-do list and more of a look at all the pretty things I've done list. Because no one likes looking at a long list of things to do knowing that you probably won't get to all of them. You can put anything on there as long as it was something productive that you did with your day that wasn't done yesterday but now it's done today. To give you an example, I will do one of my own. So let's think of all the things that I did today. Number one. I know there's something. Number one, cleaned my computer screen. Number two, reorganized my fabric drawer. These are all great, really productive things. Number three, fixed a button on a shirt that I bought that I got on a discount because it was missing a button. So number four, saved money. That's really important. If you need to list things you, you didn't do today, and by not doing it, that's productive, then list them. Like, I didn't do drugs. Sobriety, even in daily doses, is sobriety to be celebrated. That is a hard sentence to say without stuttering, and I did it on my first try. But how would you know I edit all around this? This journal is made from fibers found in elephant droppings. Recycled. If you need to scrape that barrel, you scrape that barrel. Because let me tell you something, no one is here to judge you but yourself. Um, I kind of stretched this morning, so if you wake up and you stretch, that's a workout. That's a workout. Think about it. You're pulling yourself from a comatose state to a place where you're moving your body all about. And that is impressive. Now here's the last and most crucial step. You're gonna take a look at the list you just made and for every number that you have on there, you're gonna to wanna to make, that's right, a to-do list for tomorrow. I know I, I chastised them. Did I use that word right? I think I did. Used, chastised, correctly. So anyway, I know I chastised to-do lists earlier, but now you're just gonna to wanna to make a to-do list for tomorrow. With the same number of ingredients, as you had on your list today. That's not the proper use of the word ingredients. Number one on tomorrow's to-do list, use the word ingredients correctly. And that's all you need to do. I already feel better, even though I've downgraded from my broken smartphone to my broken non-smartphone. That's right, the one with the tape and the post-it. Until further notice, that's what I'm using. But at least I've still got my camera.